Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in. So today, we have another head-to-head. -head. We're going to do the Makita 3 8 inch impact wrench against the Milwaukee M18 3 8 inch impact wrench. Now both of these are the subcompact units. So they're fairly close uh, as the specs. The Milwaukee's rated for right around 200, 210, and the Makita I think it said 130, 150 right around there. Um, I have a couple different tests because everybody, all they ever do is just take off a lug nut. Oh, yep, take off a lug nut. So I have a couple different tests I'm going to do, which I think will be more fun to watch than the standard just taking off lug nuts. Let's hit that intro. Okay, so for test number one, I got the jack off my truck. We're going to use a socket. Put it on the end here, put it underneath the truck, and see which one can jack it up faster. So that's going to be test number one. And test number two, I have an 18 inch long, one inch auger bit. We're going to pop on 11 millimeter socket on the back of it and see how far these impacts can drill this into my big old uh, tree in the backyard. I think it should be pretty interesting. The Home Depot website says, it has 210 foot-pounds of torque. This is 3 8 inch drive. We're going to be using 3 amp hour batteries and also the 2 amp hour batteries to keep it fair because that's all I have for the Makita is a 3 and a 2. Now for the Milwaukee we could use a 6 HP battery or yeah, high performance battery but I'm not going to. So we use a 3 XE battery on this one then we got the 3 amp hour battery on the Makita. And then those get low, we'll switch to the two amp hours. Real quick, I'll show you guys roughly how much these weigh with the battery on. So the Milwaukee is four pounds, three ounces. The Makita is three pounds, five ounces. So it's a pound lighter, and I do have the clip on this. I don't know if that adds much weight, but that's why I like these subcompact Makitas, because they're freaking light. My bare tool, this is like two pounds. Yeah. One pound, 14 ounces bare tool. Milwaukee, two pounds, 10 ounces bare tool. So quite a bit difference there. What else? Um, both of these are hog ring anvils. Milwaukee has one, two, three, and auto. The Makita has high, low, and low. High in the, um, the torque mode. Both these got those the auto torque mode, or is it precision mode, whatever you want to call it. It detects um, the pressure, like this one shuts off, I think, after five pounds of pressure impact. It just, you know, runs them down, puts them at like five pounds, then it stops. So you don't have to worry about over tightening with this. And I believe that's what this one does as well. All right, let's head over to the truck and check it out. So just so you guys can see. This is a one inch socket, which fits on here pretty pretty good. There's hardly any play in it. I'm gonna do that. And then I'll show you where I'm gonna put this. So you guys can see, forgive the shakiness here. Got the jack right on the left point of the truck. Okay. Alright guys, I'm trying to give you the best possible angle so you can see the jack in action here. Hope that's okay there. Alright. Makita's up first. I'm going to do it on high. We have the extension. Pull battery. See that? Pull battery. Alright, see what we can do. Ready? There you go. That's about as far as the Makita can go up. So the Makita got 13 inches, 13 and three quarters of an inch. I was barely able to lift it up off the ground. Let's lower it and try the Milwaukee. All 
All right, I had to grab the impact socket for this one. Okay, ready? stop the car is well off the ground I should say my truck a couple inches up off the ground Let's measure all right the heat at 13 inches and three 13 and a quarter Milwaukee 15 and a half yeah, that's pretty good I'm gonna try it one more time with the socket with the Makita. Yeah, can't even get it off the ground. Boom. So, test two. Got the torque wrench out. Got it set at 150. We're gonna start at, start at that. Wait, Makita's only rated for 130. So we'll do, start at 130. Yeah, 130. See if the Makita can just Take it off. Torque down this old lug nut there. Down there. First, let's make sure it's not too tight. Okay, now let's tighten it to 130. 130. Still has full bars. Let's see if it can take off 130. Wow. Now, I know the adapter zaps the torque a little bit, so I have my 22 millimeter 3 8 inch drive socket I ordered for the truck. Let's see if this can do it. She rolls away. One thirty-five. I know it's hard to see. Right on the line. One thirty-five. Okay. All right. Torque to one thirty-five. Let's see if we can do it. That's kind of disappointing. I was hoping the Makita had a little bit more power than that, but clearly I was mistaken. Yeah, nothing. Let's see if the Milwaukee can do it. Problem. Okay, 
Bump the Milwaukee right up to 200 just to save time, because that's what it's, it's rated for 210. All right, 200 for the Milwaukee. On high. No problem. Let's bump her up to 220. 220. All right, let's drill into this tree just to see if the impact drivers can do it. I know what you guys are thinking, Al, that's what, not what they're meant for. I know, we're just gonna see if it can do it. I'm trying to switch it up, be original. You know what I mean? On high, here we go. So we got to the third, to the third one right here. Okay, we got our mark right there. Let's see if the Milwaukee can beat it. Well, there you go. Milwaukee has no trouble doing this at all. All right. So clearly, the winner of the test is the Milwaukee Fuel. It has much more power. It's rated higher torque, or nut breaking torque. It's rated for what, 210 I said, 210 or 230, and this one's rated for 130, 150. Uh, first test, this one got 13 and a half inches or so off the ground. This one, I called it at 18 and a half inches because the tire was a couple inches off the ground and the jack only goes up so high. What else, let's see. This one was hardly able to take off 130 foot pounds of torque on the lug nuts. Now, if it had the adapter on it, it couldn't do it. With the bare socket on it, it could barely do it. It couldn't do 140. Where this, I think it stopped at 2, 230, 235. I gotta look at the footage, can't remember. The bit test, uh, this thing, much, much further than this one. Of course, you know, it's got more power, what do you expect? Uh, both were using 3 amp hour batteries. Let's see here. No, I like them both. I give them both. Consumer thumb up. This one's around 140, this one's around 170, 160, depending on where you go. Uh, if you want to purchase these, I will put links down below for my Amazon affiliate links. Just remember, all that money goes into a pot for the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Let's see here, what else? Thank you guys so much for all your support. Subs the subscribers keep rolling in, the channel's growing like crazy. I appreciate you guys so much. I love doing the videos for you guys. 
having a blast doing it. I hope you like that test. Trying to switch it up to something a little bit different than just doing the same old taking off a bolt, taking off a bolt. Boring. Alright guys, till next time, have a blessed day. Thank you for your time. See ya!